he gets there. The alternative media, Jerry. That's where you hear the truth. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. It's all divide and conquer, and they fund both sides. Make no mistake. Speaking of death from above, as we get into our food, health, and environment news, we call it hashtag Food World Order. Again, it is your Wednesday, September 7th, 2016, Morning Monarchy. I'm James Evan Plato from MediaMonarchy.com, and I really thank you for joining us here. On Sunday morning, the South Carolina honeybees began to die in massive numbers. Death came suddenly to Dorchester County, South Carolina. Stressed insects tried to flee their nests, only to surrender in little clumps at hive entrances. The dead worker bees littered the farms, suggested that colony collapse disorder was not the culprit. In that odd phenomenon, workers vanish as though raptured, leaving a living queen and young bees behind. (laughs) Yes, this article from McClatchy just sort of used, maybe they were raptured. Because that's becoming common parlance, apparently, you guys. Instead, the dead heap signaled the killer was less mysterious but no less devastating. The pattern matched acute pesticide poisoning. By one estimate, at a single apiary, Flower Town Bee Farm, in supply in Somerville, South Carolina, 46 hives died on the spot, totaling about 2.5 million bees. Walking through the farm, one Somerville woman wrote on Facebook was like visiting a cemetery. Pure sadness. A Clemson University scientist collected soil samples from Flower Town last Tuesday, according to WCBD-TV, to further investigate the cause of death. Last Tuesday, meaning yesterday. But to the bee farmers, the reason is already clear. Their bees had been poisoned by Dorchester's own insecticide efforts, casualties in the war on disease-carrying mosquitoes. On Sunday morning, parts of Dorchester County were sprayed with NALED, N-A-L-E-D, a common insecticide that kills mosquitoes on contact. The United States began using NALED in 1959, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, which notes that the chemical dissipates so quickly it's not a hazard to people. That said, human exposure to NALED during spraying, quote, should not occur. It was like visiting a cemetery, pure sadness. That's how one woman described seeing millions of dead honeybees in Dorchester County, South Carolina. And an aerial spray of a pesticide used to control mosquito populations is to blame. I couldn't wrap my head around the fact that we spray poison from the sky. Beekeepers in the area say their colonies dropped dead almost immediately after the spray was distributed on Sunday. A bee farm in one town lost about 2.5 million bees on the spot and its co-owner says she's devastated. All of my equipment is contaminated, my honey's contaminated, my my comb is contaminated, I'm totally shut down. The pesticide the county used is called NALED. Officials sprayed to kill mosquitoes that carry viruses like Zika and West Nile. NALED has been registered for use in the U.S. since 1959 and is primarily used to control adult mosquitoes. But it is toxic to other insects, birds, fish, and even humans. It's classified as a severe skin and eye irritant and is harmful when ingested or inhaled. Officials told WCIV this was the first time they have sprayed the pesticide from the air. The county normally sprays from the road. They say they gave residents plenty of warning with a newspaper announcement on August 26th and a Facebook post on August 27th. The county administrator did apologize for the incident Tuesday, telling the Charleston Post and Courier, I am not pleased that so many bees were killed. But residents are looking for more than an apology. A bee activist group started a petition and a hashtag to end NALED spraying in the county. There are many chemical-free alternatives to pesticides that can help repel mosquitoes. To learn more about these methods and other information on pesticides, visit nospray.org. For Newsy, I'm Jay Struberg. If you got the money, honey, we got your disease. That's what they note in the chat. Will the beekeepers be reimbursed for their loss? We probably, unfortunately, know the answer to that question already. Death from above in all forms. Coming to everything that wants to thrive and wants to push back against the powers that shouldn't be. We are reaching quite some breaking point. Because it's reaching the point where not just overeducated smart asses like ourselves who do blogs and podcasts and things. Oh, we've got it all figured out. But when regular ass people in South Carolina, and I don't know, you know I've said it before. I love hearing those voices. When I hear those voices like, "Oh, there 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 there's my peeps." 
a wake up is happening all around. But as we've always wondered, will it be fast enough? Will it be fast enough to put the put the brakes on what we see? Isn't that the question people have been asking for generations? Everybody thinks their generation is the one that's going to pop. In a last-ditch effort to protect burial and prayer sites, North Dakota's Sanding Rock Sioux late Sunday filed for temporary restraining order to halt construction of the Dakota Access Pipeline, which they say has already caused irreparable harm to the sacred plots. 